only reason people make trading hard is because there's money involved, right? And obviously, you know, your, your, your feelings, your emotions are tied to the money, which I understand, I get it. And, and, and a lot of people uh, are the same way, you know, because you fucking, we work hard for the money and, 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 you know, it sucks seeing, you know, two weeks worth of what you work for gone in 60 seconds, right? Like, yeah, of course, especially if you fucking work super hard for the money, right? I understand that, right? I, I completely understand it. But there's, you have to understand too, that there's people that the same way that they can lose two weeks worth of what you work for, there's people out there trading that make that within 15 minutes, 30 minutes. That's that's why my perception of money has changed forever. It'll never be the same. It'll never be the same. Because I see I see things like that and I'm like, well, if they could do it, I could do it. They have no other advantage over me right i have all i have all my mental faculties i'm healthy i don't do any drugs you know like i'm smart you know besides the, the guys that have like algorithms and shit and that's true but I mean, I know guys that don't have algorithms, man, that, that they just they just trust the process, trust their strategy and, and, and they get they get paid. So, you know, it's like it's like anything, bro. You could apply this to anything. It's like working out. If you work out right and you see this fucking this dude that's in good shape. Right. And you ask him, you're like, bro, and like he has like really nice shoulders or like nice delts. You're like, bro, what did you do for your shoulders? And he just tells you, bro, honestly, all I did was flies. All I did was pet, uh, was was shoulder shoulder flies and rear delt um, flies, and that's it, right? And I'm I'm good. That's how I have the shoulders that I have now. And then you're like, what? Like, there's no fucking way. And then you start like kind of like second guessing it because you're like there's no way that this guy has such good shoulders and all he did was peck flies and or i'm sorry uh shoulder flies and rear delt, rear delt flies there's no way right and then like finally you like hey bro well, look i've been trying to grow my shoulders let me just work out with you one of these days and you work out with them right and then you just do the same thing that he does and you figure out that he really only does those two exercises for his shoulders. That's why his shoulders are so damn massive. It's the same thing with with uh, with trading, right? Like, you you don't think it's you don't think it's real until you actually do it, and somebody shows you, and you're like, what the fuck? So why, when he does it, he gets he gets paid, but when I do it, I fucking lose money. It's only because that person has been doing it longer. That's it. It's only because he's practiced his technique more times than you that's it so he knows what to look for it's the same thing with the girl when you know a girl likes you uh you know it's easier and 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 then if you're a newbie with girls if you if you've never had a girlfriend you you fumble the bag because you're like what the fuck like how did that happen like how did i lose this girl you know like, blah, blah, blah. and then like you see a guy that's been with girls forever that's 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 had girlfriends that knows what to look for and he's always like with you know girls he's always like he he always has girls on him she's kissing up on him th stuff like that and then you're like how bro how, how does that happen you're just like dude it's just i know i know which girls like me i i know which girls are easier to be with because i know what to look for the only difference from that guy and that guy is one of them has practiced one thing more than the other that's it right why are why are people um why are some people better drivers cuz they've they've just been driving more times right they've been driving for longer um let's see what's another one you just you you just can't you can't outdo experience bro you can't outwork experience you can get lucky but you can't um you can't trump experience. Tr uh, experience trumps everything.
if you've been doing something for a long period of time, there's no there's no way that somebody just comes in and just beats you on a long enough time frame. Give somebody a month, right, with lots of experience and somebody with kind of mediocre experience with, uh, you know, with just like a few months of doing something. And then you have this other guy that's just been experienced for a while. The guy with experience is always going to win because he knows what to look for. He knows what to do. You get an experienced construction worker. You get an experienced roofer. Why do they always put the the experience, the really experienced guys with 30, 20 plus years with the little rookies? Because the rookies need to learn from the experience, right? I've seen this so many times. I, 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 I used to be... Uh, in electrical school and all the guys that knew everything were the guys that have been in the business for the longest these are the guys with all the knowledge bro these are the guys with everything with every single cheat code that you think is a cheat code it's o it's only a cheat code because they've done it longer they've no they've they've just been able to connect these neural pathways to make it seem like it's a cheat code but it's not all it is is just a lot of time invested and then them connecting two pieces together in their head and saying oh well if i just do it this way i save all this time that's all it is so they're not really cheat codes it's just somebody took a fuck ton of time to learn something to learn every single thing about this one thing and just figured out a faster way to do it that's it i used to do music too and i remember um you know one thing i hated about making music is you know making it was fun right like getting the ideas out was super fun but the mixing the engineering all that stuff was so tedious i hated it bro i hated it so much because um because I would run into so many problems, right? I would, once I started EQing something, it would sound off and then it didn't sound like how I, how I first heard it. And I was like, what the hell, what just happened? And it's because I put a compressor on a drum that just changed the whole sound. It warped everything and now everything just sounds completely off. But a seasoned engineer would be like, oh, I know what you're trying to do. And he would just, so if, if my learning curve was, was like this, right his was whew, like that in less time he was there in less time where i was still over here you know what i'm saying and freaking i was 30 minutes away and he was like oh bro you could have just taken this road and i was there in 15 minutes um so i'm slowly putting in these hours for trading right i don't have anybody in my circle that i trust with trading I have people that I trust, but I don't have people that I know that do trading, right? So that's why I'm, I'm kind of to my own on this one to, to figure it all out. But I'm putting in my hours into learning, into execution, into fundamentals, into um, not so much technical analysis. I know enough to the point where I could have a decent conversation, but I don't go off of technical analysis mainly because Trading's already kind of tedious to the point where the last thing you want in your mind is to be thinking about all these indicators in your head, right? Like, oh, did it hit the fib? Did it hit, did it hit uh, this? W what about this, 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 this? Oh, it didn't hit this one thing. So all of that can, can make you hesitate when you're trying to open a, a trade. The thing that wins in trading is speed, right? And I'm not saying speed as in, um, I'm not, I don't mean speed in a bad way. I mean speed as in once you see an entry, you have to take it immediately because you could lose out on profits and vice versa. You could wipe out all of your money in your account if you don't do a stop loss and, you know, execute that trade. Um, so anyway, um, I'm out of here. I'm at 16 minutes. This video wasn't even supposed to be that long, but I just felt like I needed to say it. Um, anyways, man, if you guys haven't already, 
uh subscribe to this channel if you want me to go live uh live stream i have a i have a live stream set up let me know and i'll see you guys in the next one comment down below